Chinese launch company Cosmo Leap has raised over 100 million yuan, or 14 million dollars, to develop its reusable rocket and recovery system that's been modeled after SpaceX's technology. What if an entire country decided to copy your groundbreaking invention? That's the reality SpaceX is facing right now. China has unveiled a rocket catch system that's raising eyebrows across the globe. And for good reason. With an estimated 90% similarity to SpaceX's design, this isn't just flattery, it's a bold move that's sending shockwaves through the space industry. But what does this copycat approach really mean for the future of space exploration? And more importantly, what risks are we overlooking in this high-stakes game of technological one-upmanship? The towering imitation. Picture this, a massive 150-meter tower reaching for the sky, ready to catch a falling rocket. But we're not talking about SpaceX here. This is Cosmo Leap, a Chinese startup making waves with its new creation. The space world is asking some big questions about copying versus innovating. And for good reason. Cosmo Leap's tower looks shockingly like SpaceX's. We're talking about 90% similar. That's no accident, and it's got people talking. Let's check out this copycat tower. Like SpaceX's system, it has two huge steel arms, nicknamed chopsticks or mechazilla arms. These arms are supposed to catch and move rockets precisely. But here's the interesting part. Experts say Cosmo Leap's arms move a bit clumsily. This hints that they might still be working out the kinks in simulations, Copying this kind of tech isn't simple. You can't just look at it and build it. You need to understand the complex engineering behind it. While Cosmo Leap's tower looks a lot like SpaceX's from far away, up close it's a different story. The similarities between Cosmo Leap's rocket catcher and SpaceX's Starship are clear, but the details matter. When you look closely, you see big differences in how well they work. This shows how hard it is to copy cutting-edge space tech and makes us wonder about the future of space innovation. Beyond the tower, a pattern emerges. China's space program is aiming high, and they're not just focusing on one area. They're looking at a whole range of technologies, which has got space experts both excited and worried. It's clear that China is trying to copy a lot of SpaceX's tech. Their new big rocket looks a lot like SpaceX's Starship and Falcon 9. But that's not all. China seems to be copying SpaceX in other ways too like making rockets that can be used again and building their own internet satellites. This copying is causing a lot of debate. Some people think it's just good competition, while others say it's stealing ideas. It's hard to tell where to draw the line. China isn't just focused on rockets. They want to go to the moon too, with plans for a moon base that could compete with NASA's Artemis program. It's like we're seeing a new space race happening right now. Experts are worried about what might happen if China keeps copying without really understanding the tech. They think it could lead to a lack of new ideas and maybe even safety problems. China seems to be trying to do everything SpaceX and NASA are doing. As we watch all this happen, we have to wonder what it means for space exploration in the long run. Will it make things happen faster or will it stop new ideas from coming up? Everyone in the space world is watching closely and what happens could change how we explore space for a long time. The hidden dangers of imitation. Imagine trying to build a rocket without knowing how it works. Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what's happening in China's space program, and it's raising some serious red flags. We're not talking about a simple science fair project here. We're dealing with massive rockets and complex catch systems. The stakes, they're sky high, quite literally. Let's take a closer look at what happens when you try to copy without fully understanding. Remember the Changlong 3 rocket? It's a perfect example of what can go wrong. During testing, this rocket lost control and ended up igniting a nearby mountain. Yes, you heard that right. A mountain on fire. It's like a scene from a disaster movie, except it actually happened. This incident isn't just a minor setback. It's a glaring warning sign of the dangers lurking in rushed implementations. But why is copying rocket technology so risky? Well, think about the sheer power we're dealing with here. SpaceX's super heavy rocket, for instance, generates a mind-boggling 16.8 million pounds of thrust. That's not just a gentle breeze, it's an earth-shaking force that can tear through steel like it's paper. Now imagine trying to control and catch something that powerful. It's like trying to catch a speeding train with your bare hands. One wrong move, and it's game over. 
Experts are particularly worried about China's clamping system for their Changlong-3 rocket. They're questioning whether it's up to the task of handling these immense forces. If it's not designed properly, we could be looking at a catastrophic failure waiting to happen. And here's the kicker. China's space program operates under different rules. Reports suggest that the Chinese government is more lenient when it comes to environmental and public safety standards. It's like they're playing a high stakes game with a blindfold on. So what happens when you cut corners in space technology? Well, the consequences can be monumental. We're not just talking about a failed launch or a broken rocket. We're talking about potential disasters that could set back space exploration for years, not to mention the risk to human life in the environment. The Chang Long 3 incident isn't just a cautionary tale, it's a wake-up call for the entire industry. Are we seeing a pattern here? China's rush to replicate SpaceX's success could be a recipe for disaster. Without rigorous testing and proper safety protocols, they're essentially playing Russian roulette with rocket science. The question is, how far are they willing to go? And more importantly, at what cost? Despite these glaring risks, China's space ambitions show no signs of slowing down. They're pushing forward at full throttle, seemingly undeterred by the potential dangers lurking around every corner. But as we watch this space race unfold, we can't help but wonder, will their eagerness to catch up ultimately lead to a catastrophic fall? The Race to the Stars Innovation versus Imitation As the cosmic dust settles, a mind-bending question emerges. Can China's copycat strategy actually outpace SpaceX's groundbreaking innovations in the final frontier? It's a space race that's heating up faster than a rocket on re-entry, and the outcome could reshape our future among the stars. China's not just playing catch-up anymore. They're aiming to leapfrog ahead. With plans to plant their flag on the moon by 2030 and build a lunar base by 2035, they're not just dreaming big, they're backing it up with action. But here's where it gets really interesting. While SpaceX has been busy perfecting their Starship catch system, China's been furiously scribbling notes and building their own version. It's like they're trying to cram for a cosmic exam, and the results could be out of this world. Now you might be thinking, surely SpaceX's head start gives them an unbeatable advantage, right? Well, not so fast. China's throwing everything they've got at this space race, and their aggressive investment could see them closing the gap quicker than a satellite in low Earth orbit. It's a classic tortoise and hare scenario, but with rockets instead of running shoes. But here's where opinions start to diverge faster than parallel universes. Some experts are raising red flags, warning that China's rush to replicate without fully understanding the tech could lead to a cosmic catastrophe. It's like trying to fly a plane after only reading the manual. Sure, you might get off the ground, but landing? That's a whole other story. On the flip side, there are those who believe China's approach could actually propel them past SpaceX. After all, why reinvent the wheel when you can just borrow the blueprint? With government backing and a no-holds-barred approach to development, China could potentially leapfrog over years of trial and error. The pace of development in both countries is enough to give you whiplash. While SpaceX has been making headlines with their successful mid-air catch of the Super Heavy booster, China's been quietly, or not so quietly, building their own space empire. It's like watching two master chefs in a cooking competition, one creating original recipes, the other perfecting existing ones. But let's not forget the secret ingredient in this cosmic cookbook. Government support. While SpaceX has been dancing with NASA, China's space program has the full backing of Beijing. It's like comparing a startup to a Fortune 500 company. The resources and scale are on totally different levels. So what does all this mean for the future of space exploration? Well, it's like we're standing on the edge of a new frontier. This rivalry could spark incredible breakthroughs, pushing both nations to reach for the stars like never before. But it also raises some pretty heavy questions about international cooperation and the potential for a new Cold War. Only this time, it's in space. Could China's version actually surpass SpaceX's innovation? As we peer into the cosmic crystal ball, the answer remains as mysterious as dark matter. One thing's for sure though, this space race is far from over, and the next chapter could rewrite the books on what's possible in the final frontier. As we watch this cosmic chess game unfold, the race to dominate space technology is reshaping the final frontier. 
The implications stretch far beyond rocket launches, touching every aspect of our future among the stars. It's a thrilling yet concerning spectacle, with China's copycat strategy raising eyebrows and alarm bells. Elon Musk himself has voiced concerns about this space race. In his words, while the U.S. still leads in experience, delays could allow China to catch up. Bold decisions are needed to maintain dominance in the space race. His statement underscores the urgency of the situation and the potential consequences of complacency. As spectators in this cosmic competition, we must stay informed and critically evaluate the balance between innovation and imitation. The future of space exploration hangs in the balance, and our understanding of these developments could shape the course of human history. What are your thoughts on this space race? Do you think China's strategy will pay off, or will SpaceX maintain its lead? Share your views in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going.